Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Unplugged. In this video, we will discuss about banana bond or band bond. This topic is important for JEE, NEET and NAT aspirants. But before starting my video, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for future notifications. This type of bond is observed in electron deficient compounds like diboranes and other boron hydride, hydrides and cyclopropanes, cycloalkanes, etc. It is also known as banana bond because it is curved in nature. It is not linear, it is curved bond. The presence of bridging hydrogen in diboranes or banana bonds in diboranes was determined by electron diffraction and spectral studies. Our first example is B2H6. So let's try to find out electron distribution in B2H6. As we all know that the, there are three valence shell electrons in boron atom and in B2H6 there are two atoms. So the total number of valence shell electrons around boron are six. And the number of valence shell electrons on hydrogen atoms are also 6 because they are 6 in number and each hydrogen atom contains one valence shell electron. So the total number of valence shell electrons are 12. Then the number of electrons participate in BH bond formation are 8 because we have 4 BH bond and each BH bond contains 2 electrons therefore total number of electrons used in BH bond are 8. The number of electrons participates in BHB bonds are 4. Each BHB bond contains 2 electrons. So all the 12 valence shell electrons are used up in BH and BHB bonds formation. So there are two type of hydrogens in BH2, H6 or boranes or diboranes. There are two type of hydrogens in B2H6. The terminal hydrogens are those which participates in BH bond formation and they are in one plane. Okay. And the bridging hydrogen atoms are, are those hydrogen atoms which participates in BHB bond formation and they are present in the plane perpendicular to the BH, term, BH terminal bonds. Next, we will try to find out hybridization in B2H6. In case of BH3, the hybridization is sp2. Using the formula 1 by 2, 3 is the valence shell electrons in boron atom plus 3 the number of the number of monovalent atoms that is hydrogen in that in BH3. So the sum is 3 and 3 means sp2 okay but in case of b2h6 we have sp3 hybridization how in boron atom as we know that the electron distribution in ground state is 1s2 2s2 2p1 in excited state it is 1s2 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz0 means one electron from s2s uh, orbital hype excited to 2py 2py and 2pz is vacant so in th this case there are four sp3 hybridized orbitals and one of one of sp3 hybridized orbital at uh, orbital is vacant and two sp3 orbitals of each boron atom forms sigma bond with hydrogen atoms out of two sp3 orbitals one is empty there are four sp3 orbitals in this way okay two sp3 orbitals are used in bh bond formation bond with terminal hydrogens okay and one sp3 orbital has one electron and one sp3 orbital is empty therefore in each banana bond formation 
one boron atom contributes one electron filled sp3 orbital while other boron atom gives empty sp3 orbital and and hydrogen gives one s orbital with one electron in this way the vacant s and we denoted the vacant sp3 orbitals by dotted line in the figure so the bond between boron and terminal hydrogen is two center two electron bond each boron uh, bh bond bh terminal bond is two center two electron bond while b each bh b bond is three center two electron bond it is electron deficient bond and the bond length between bh terminal bonds is 119 picometer while for bhb means bh bridging bond it is 131 picometer and the angle between hbh the uh, this hbh bond angle is 120 and this hbh bond angle is 97 while this bond angle is 80 3 as we know that bond strength is inversely proportional to bond length therefore the bh terminal bonds are stronger than bh bridging bond next example of electron deficient bond is tetraborin bh b4h10 number of valence shell electron on each boron atom is 3 and in b Four H ten number of boron atoms are four, so the total number is twelve. Number of valence shell electrons on hydrogen atoms is ten, so the total is twenty two. Number of electrons participates in B H bond formation two center two electron bond is twelve. It has six B H terminal bonds, therefore total number is twelve. while electron participates in bhb bonds are 8 it has 4 bhb bonds 3 center 2 electron bonds it also has 1 bb bond 2 center 2 electron bond so all electrons are used up in bond formation the bond angle between the bond length between bb is 171 picometer for bh bond for bridging bh bond 137 picometer and for this bridging bond is 143 picometer the bh terminal bond is 110 picometer this bond angle is 122 degree next is pentaborane p number of valence shell electrons on b atom are 15 number of valence shell electrons Are nine, so the total is twenty-four. In B five H nine, number of electron participates in B H B H terminal bond formation. Two carbon two two center two electron bond is ten because it has five B H bonds. Number of electron participates in B H B bond formation are eight. It is it has four. B H B bonds means four banana bonds. Then number of electrons participates in B B bond two center two electron bonds are four. It has two B B bond. It also has B B B bond. It is it is a type of electron deficient or banana bond. Three center two electron bond. And the number of electron participate in this type of bond is two. So all the electrons are used up in bond formation. Then bonding in cyclopropane. As we know that in cyclopropane, this carbon has sp three hybridization. So this angle should be one hundred and nine degree twenty eight minutes, but it is sixty degree. Therefore, the molecule is under strain. And if we draw the hypothetical line to show one hundred and nine degree twenty eight. minute bond these can be denoted by these dashed lines okay 
as we know that this angle is 60 degree means less than 109 degree 28 minutes so there is a pressure on these bonds and they open up to the angle greater than 109 degree 28 minutes the carbon hydrogen bond is opened up to the angle greater than 109 degree 28 minutes so if they have bond angle greater than 109 degree 28 minutes means they have more s character and therefore they are this bond is carbon hydrogen bond is more electronegative in nature if we draw the orbital diagram of cyclopropane these sp3 hybrid orbitals between carbon and carbon are not in this axis but they are above it or form a bent bond or you may say banana bond as this bond angle is less than 109 degree 28 minute therefore they have more p characters sometimes denoted by sp4 or sp5 sp4 or sp5 means that they have more p character in comparison to s character so thank you so much for watching my video in next video we will discuss about bond angle bond length bond strength and other properties of bonds so please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for future notifications subscription is free so please please subscribe my channel thank you so much